Welcome back everyone to some more Beholder 2, where in the last episode we got things for Solerno and who is being hunted by the Mafia. We've also delivered all the five contestants for a quiz that I don't know what uh, will happen. And uh, crap, what else? Uh, we've upgraded our hacking and lockpicking. Nice. So let's all see what that has for today's episode. What, happen what will happen in today's episode? <gasps> oh, we can talk to Rose. Hello, Rose. Guessing this has something to do with the, the quiz? Evan Everdeen. Evan Redgrave. I need you. <laughs> Me? It's about the leader of a patriotic quiz. Gloria Melfi signed her son up for the team, but he didn't show up. Oh, I've already issued a reprimand. But I'm worried about the evasive answers she gave me. I consider it unacceptable to poke my nose into the personal lives of my colleagues, but you, as a new person on the team, could benefit from getting to know your new family a bit better. Family? Colleagues are family. They are our brothers and sisters in arms, faithful comrades in the journey towards a brighter future. These are the words of our great leader. Yes. What? Okay, so. She wants us to talk to Melfi. Who the hell's Melfi? Is it Gloria? Gloria is oh Gloria Melfi. Huh. Yes. But also, um, while we are here, John Smith, now that I've got good hacking, can I check what oh god. My nose. <coughs> Let me hack your terminal. Oh, spaghetti. And words. Oh my. Oh yay. Things. Okay. And do we do we know what you got in here? Oh, a gun. Oh my god. How come I've never checked? Damn, that is weird. Oh, hey, John. You didn't see me in your thing. Uh, Gloria. Uh, yeah, there, there she is. She's so far away. Oh my god, but actually she's getting closer. Uh, come on. Hack that terminal. Photos. Ooh. This. Going to the movies. Oh, oh my god, back. Get out. Nice. Okay, cool. We've got we've got info and stuff like that. Anyway. Hello, Gloria. What secrets are you keeping? Find out why her son was not the quiz. Gloria, did you sign your son up for the patriotic quiz? Rose said he didn't come to the uh, practice run. My son is a famous cellist, so as the leading breeder of my... of new varieties of potato... What? Cellist potato. He had to attend a meeting of the City Zoo Ethics Committee, so naturally he couldn't make it. What? Why sign, why sign him up then? But don't ask me. This day has been so hectic, my head is spinning. What? What kind of answer was that? <clears throat> John, no, I need to talk to you anyway. Bye. Um, hello, Everdeen. Uh, did you find out why Gloria Melfi's son didn't come to the quiz? <laughs> come up with the next uh convincing excuse. Uh, yeah. He's a very busy man. He's had so much work lately, he practically lives at his job. I see. I won't need to request his personal file from the archives then. But that always causes trouble. Okay. Ask about the archives to find... Ask... what? Don't ask about Gloria Melfi's son. Ask about the archive to find information about Melfi's son. Right. How do I request a personal file from the archives? No, the easiest way is to call from any phone except your work phone. Yeah, okay, I know. So, yeah, call the archives from home. That I will. But also, hello, John. Here you are. Evan, uh, caro amico, uh, could you find this? Yeah, yeah, already. Give him the things. You'll like my idea, Tony. Fat Tony, per favor. Whatever you say, friend. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is working well. <laughs> oh my god, yes. There's nothing you can't control. For everything else, there's mafia. Oh my god. 
And that's it. He's gone. Nice, it's just another Carl. Hey, Carl. Anyway, yeah, we got work of that. Um, anything else for Gloria? Or do I now just have to go to the archive stuff? Huh. I guess so. Anyway, um, I guess I'm just gonna work myself some more money and authority and head back home to do that archive stuff. So be right back. Nice, alright, we're back home. New bills. And also, calling of the archivist. Archivist. Dial the number. Uh, call the archives. Request information about Gloria Melfi. Hello, I would like some info information about a ministry employee called Gloria Melfi. Please wait. Gloria Melfi, 45 years old, works at the ministry in the appeal department. Divorced son Malcolm Melfi died on... <gasps> 1705-1979 Since 1980, she has been under observation by Dr. Alfred Binet, Binet of the Ancient uh, Psychiatric Hospital telephone number that. Ooh. Thank you for contacting. Alright. Psychiatric Hospital. Okay. Hello, I need to talk to Dr. Alfred Binet. About what? Uh, it's about a patient of his. I'm an employee of the ministry. My questions are none of your business. <laughs> nah, it's good. It's, it's my colleague, and she's been acting strange lately. I'd like to discuss her illness. We don't discuss patients with third parties. Okay. Do it again. Just a second. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes. God damn, that's loud. I'm listening. Dr. Alfred Binet. My name is Evan Redgrave. <sighs> I work with a certain Gloria Melfi. Are you familiar with her? Oh, Gloria with Melfi? Of course. Me. What's the matter? She's acting a little oddly. There's no wonder. Oh, that's no wonder. Such a difficult case. We treated her four years ago. I called the archive. They told me that her son died in a crash. Could that be the cause of her illness? Uh, it is. I tried to tell her about what happened, but instead of accepting it, she became hysterical. Her brain refused to accept the news about her son. We treated her with drugs for two years, and she had started to recover. She was soon discharged. Why are you asking about her? She constantly talks about her son as if he was alive. It's causing us some problems. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, so her condition has worsened again. Tell me, has she by any chance mixed you up with him? Yes, it happened a few times. That is very bad. What should we do? Maybe you can take her in again? I'm afraid that all the beds in the psychiatric ward are occupied for years now, or for years to come. Uh, but you can try to resolve the issue yourself if you want. How? This is an experimental method and there may be... Come, there may become some... There may be some side effects. I think that's what it meant. Means. That's what they meant. Alright, yeah. But if you play along and prepare, pretend to be her son, it might work. You need to gain her trust and gradually pull her out of her delirium. If you do, there is a chance that she'll accept his accept his death and recover. Pretend to be her son. Yes. But there is one thing. If she suspects that something is wrong, her psyche uh, won't be able to cope with it and then anything can happen. What do you mean? She may attack the one who's deceived her or kill herself because she is tormented by a terrible feeling of guilt and loneliness? How do I avoid that? Anyone who assumes this responsibility should learn as much as possible about her son and play their part perfectly. Okay, so the information I got. Sounds hard. Alright. Uh, well, you can also wait until she finally loses it and gets sent to the home of misfits. Uh, that could happen tomorrow, a year from now, or never. In which case, she'll live the rest of her life in her delusion. Alright, agree. Alright, fine doctor, I'll try. Nice, alright. I'll tell you what I can. My nephew studied with Melfi's son at school, number 
0261, I knew her before the tragedy and I'm invested in her recovery. I repeat, before you pretend to be Gloria Cern, son, learn as much about him as possible. Good luck. Now, my patients are waiting for me. Okay. Strange. Alright, what did we learn about Melfi? When Melfi's son went to high school, yeah? Her mental issues. Alright, Gloria's son is dead. A tragic accident five years ago. Melfi's son's favorite place, her son. Watched Pride and Prejudice and The Leader many times. Alright. Works a lot for the sake of her son. Crazy about her son, alright. Uh, get satisfaction from work. Okay. Pride and Prejudice and The Leader. Is that a new TV show? Awesome. Goddamn, my nose is clogged. Damn it, they're all not there. Huh. Alright, um, crap, let me check how much money we need to spend. Alright, and select all, oh nice, bam, there we go, we paid all our bills. Woohoo! Real life work, <laughs> god. Alright, we got 8 minutes, we can put all that into this. Boop. There we go, eight. Nice. Now we need two more, and then our our what do you call rent will be down by like ten percent. Anyway, this is where I am leaving us all off. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, like and subscribe, and goodbye. <laughs>